Due to time constraints, this video features heavy editing, but the gameplay is otherwise unscripted. The full recording shows repetitive trial and error, as well as technical difficulties. Your convenience is in mind, and changes in entertainment purposes have been implemented. Please enjoy. Hi everybody, and welcome back to Oni Camel Gaming. This is your host, Acidic, and I almost flubbed up my opening. It's still real loud. Oh, please are coming after me, y'all. I gotta get out of here. I think I gotta get out the window. So I think most of this is gonna be scripted. As long as you follow the path, you should be okay. We got an inferno on the hotel terminus. This is cool though. Like, this is a nice set piece. This is a nice set piece. I haven't felt like I was playing the Fugitives since MGS3, y'all. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember the very first time I did this part. It was about 10 years ago. You know when I played this game? 11, 12, I guess, because time is slipping. It's flying and slipping, slipping and sliding. Yeah, the first time I played this, I was blown away. Uh oh. I messed up. I'm not under arrest, you're under arrest. Oh, I forgot that you got God of War controls. Ugh. Well, this wasn't a very strong start. <laughs> This seemed to work last time, I don't know. Alright. This whole sequence is really scripted. I'm just trying to figure out what the script is. I'm involved in the play. All right. Oops, I think I dropped it. There we go. Please don't. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely someone over there. I'm gonna try this though. Damn it! There's another one. Well, I. Uh, I guess I'll get to that doorway as soon as they turn. And throwing objects wasn't really all that helpful. But I, I got one back, so it's alright. I got one back. Alright, so I had to restart a few times. That wasn't too slick, but everything's okay. We got another checkpoint. Awesome. Whoa, this is Sparta. A little Spartan kick. And so in this next scene, nothing of consequence really happens. He's going to be in chase down by the cops, a.k.a. the goons, a.k.a. ACAB. And then he does like this uh, big dive through a window or whatnot. Then he looks like all uh, around a quarter all pensively. And he just sits there for a second. And the, the, the soundtrack goes <laughs> like it's a Batman movie. So I actually had to restart recording because the 
computer ran out of disk space and had to move something over to the portable hard drive. So, yeah, that happened. And it sent me back to my previous checkpoint. But you'll probably won't know that because of the magic of editing. But yeah, I have to splice two videos together now. Because I ran out of space. But I'm glad I have that hard drive. I used to not have this hard drive and I would run into problems like this all the time. And it really just collapsed my whole process. And uh, it, it was an ordeal to transfer files and stuff. Because Google, uh, Gmail, Gmail can only handle files so big if you're going to email them to yourself. So at some point I had to make the investment and get a nice little, I think it's only like one tera, but it's plenty for me what I'm doing. Got one terabyte of storage space. One day I might get more, but uh, it's serving my purposes right now. I barely even made a dent in the memory. So, with that being said, memory being an issue, I kind of have to move fast through here. Not too fast, but fast enough. Fast enough to make a dent. Just hug the cover real quick to get out of line of sight. Actually, I have an idea. Oh, that's not a good idea. That's just actually worse. <laughs> I have to go further. So, I won't do that again. Oh my gosh, these controls are not my favorite. Come on. Will you please fall? Thank you. All right, get the checkpoint, and then hang out over here. Just get me out of this level. Oh, look at that. Cross this tightrope situation. Oh, that killed a bunch of people. <laughs> through this. I'm just getting impatient, that's all. But, uh, yeah, I'm ready to get out of this level. I'm ready to get out of this level. There's still more to go, though. this guy. There he is. Hmm. Got the wrong guy. It's a different one. Please let this happen. Hmm. And there's a third guy again. What's going on? Better save than sorry. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's try not to <laughs> slaughter anybody with a bell or whatever. Alright, here we go. 
I can go for another checkpoint. Did I just pass one? What was that sound? Hey, hey, objective completed. Cutscene time. Wow. What a cutscene. <laughs> little interactivity going on. So it seems like things have calmed down. But, whoop, I'm still on the same level. What do I do? Oh yeah, this part. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Ah, uh, how far back do I have to go? Timing. That's good timing. That's good timing. Wait. And that's good timing. What the hell is this guy? He's jumping buildings, dodging helicopter fire. What's going on here? Gotta be ex-military. You know my uh, my cousin Anthony. He uh, he's combat soldiers with uh, what is that? Oh, uh, PTSD. You know, and some of these guys. When they snap, they fucking snap, you know? Damn. I was hoping I'd have a little larger window. Because this guy. I'm trying not to get spotted here. Please tell me you're not coming around. Okay, this might work out. No, no, no. I'm so close to the exit. This is ridiculous. Come on. I don't know if that was ever going to happen. <laughs> oh, I thought we were in a cutscene. This is me now. Yeah, I remember doing this too when I was young. These, uh... Some kind of, like, major hippie dead. You wholesome, thank you. Well, 
well, well, talk about pupil dilation. You little farmer boys are way up shit's creek. You know that, don't you? Wow. This is a lot of pot. Too bad none of this is real. You think something like this would just go unnoticed? Jesus. Oh. Alright, detonator dropped where I want it. Stay low. I'm gonna try and get to this door. Without getting spotted. No! Ugh! floor a couple weeks back for the for domestic disturbance, right? And the landlord was complaining that the building smelled like pine trees. <laughs> and I guess we know now why. struggled with that one. But it finally got it done. My brother is live, so I'm going to have to jump on that here in a minute. But we'll watch this cutscene, and I'll edit everything down. But yeah, there was a lot of trial and error in this episode, and it kind of wore me down a little bit. I started losing my patience. But I did it perfect stealth. I'm not even really sure what I did. I didn't even really use the detonator. Ugh, it's still going. I still gotta locate the exit. We're not quite done. All right, let's get out of here. I feel like I found something back here. Yeah. Got scissors, all right. I think I'll keep the bomb. I'm not trying to kill anybody, so. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a whole thing. It's a, in, in, oh my god, it just started. <laughs> this is a whole thing in and of itself. How do I get out of here? Oh, okay, just really any one of these exits. <sighs> oh 
Please don't start me really far back. I can't take any more. I can't take any more. Oh my god, I am so done. I'm so tired of this damn level. Been a lot of trial and error. I'm really tired of this level. I want to. I want to shut this off. I want to go watch my brother's live stream. I want to be done. I'm sick of this. We've reached the point where this is no longer fun. <laughs> I'm like ready to go. This is work now. This is work. This thing's fucking useless too. Busted anyway. God, I hate this game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like wait and wait and wait and wait. I, I'm sick of this, man. I want to do something different. Come on. Ready to go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I've been stuck on this for too long. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to shut the system off and go hang out. I'm like, this is going on for too long. Lots of trial and error. I'm no longer even having fun. I'm just ready to go. This is so freaking ridiculous. Just turn in little semicircles and not be seen by the police in a crowd. Don't make any damn sense. I don't even know who's seeing me over there. Are they across the platform? Who sees me across a platform? I'm sorry, y'all. This game is making me pretty ir irritated at this moment in time. I'm getting irritated. I was really close to getting identified, spotted, whatever. Jesus Christ, will you go away? I'm just surrounded at all times by assholes.
to one of his clients on all lines in and out of the station. Some kind of murder investigation. But he closed up all the traps. need these two guys in the right position I can make it to the next section Supposed to get down the stairs. All right, bro. Yeah, no. Yeah, I gotta get to the entrance of one of those platforms fast. I'm not even really sure how I'm supposed to be doing it with the, so many damn cops around. Maybe I'll find a point where there's kind of like a break in their formation. Yeah, I've used all the instinct. At least I'm not doing that dance I was doing before. Hopefully I'll be out of here soon. But as soon as I get on this train, that should be the end of the level. Gotta figure that part out, getting on the train. If this all works though, I'll get Silent Assassin or whatever you get for not killing people. Doing it with perfect stealth. Please don't, please don't, please don't. I'm almost there. Oh my god, it finally happened. Let's see what we got.
Increase the amount of instant gain through actions. Cool. Increase reaction time and hand-to-hand -hand combat. And that'd be somewhat handy, I guess. Uh, control breathing. Increased ability on sniper rifles. Alright. Burning Hotel, the library, Shangri-La, train station. I guess there's a way to earn more points, but I'm not really sure what I gotta do. So maybe I'll come back and try to get Silent Assassin another time. But uh, honestly, this level kind of took it out of me. So, we open with an establishing shot and more exposition on stuff we pretty much already know at this point. 47 starts flexing about how badass he is, and we already know that too. Then we jump cut with almost hilarious fashion to a flashback taking place two days ago. This is to establish yet another villain at this part of the story who seems to have been hired by evil Garth Brooks to kidnap Victoria. He just wants a lot of money, so um, uh, I don't know what his name is. I, I, I forgot to look over the footage and I honestly with this story I'm kind of tapped out. So uh, all I really know about him is he's kind of vulgar, and uh, this lady over here doesn't like him. And I forgot her name, too, because with this story, I'm kind of tapped out. But Roy Rogers over here says that's exactly the shit he likes. So um, none of these people really have anything pertinent to say after this point, but rest assured, if you're supposed to be reviled by these villains, they check that box. Then we pan back to the underbelly of Shocktown, where Birdie updates 47 about his supposed next target, Don Osmond. We have to roll on Bristol Street, but Birdie's like, hey boy, don't go flexing because Don will delete you. Birdie must have forgot who he was talking to because 47 does the 86 in, in this kitchen. He'll make love to your mama and get it legal and call you son just to take you out with a pillow in your sleep. You feel it? He can walk multiple dogs at the same time with a cat on his back. But to be honest, these cutscenes are underwhelming and no one cares. next time um, if I come back and try to get a perfect score on the last level it'll be in a bonus video after I complete the series most likely um, it probably won't be an interruption in the series I might change my mind later but we'll go with tentatively that's probably how it's gonna break down but uh, I've been recording for a long time and it's been a really long session I'm ready to like watch my brother beat the high D and know you're solid so you all have a great night, you all peace out, you all be safe, and we'll see you next time on the, uh, on the next episode of Obi Camo Gaming's Obi Camo Gaming stuff. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing, I'm trying to put up some videos, try to be somewhat successful. There's a lot of pot. Aren't we apprehended one of Gotham's most heinous serial killers? Oh. No further questions. Hmm.